Hello and welcome to episode 3 of my Java tutorial series and uh, this will bring us ever so slightly closer to actually developing our own Android app. So today what I'm going to show you is how functions work in Java. And that's a function is basically just a piece of code that you can easily refer to and run multiple times. So if you have some code that's frequently repeated, that's a good sign that it should be in a function. And uh, just in a bit you'll see what I mean by that. Functions will also make your program more readable and that's always a good thing and that way when it's when it's readable it's easier to maintain so let's uh, get into it as we all know uh, the main function is obviously a function and this is where your Java program starts and we can also declare our own functions that do certain things and functions can have return values or they can be void and not returning anything and I'll show you what I mean by that so the first thing we're going to do is just make a function that types something out on the screen like we did in the previous episode so that's something you should be fami familiar with and uh, if you are not you should go back and watch those videos and let's get straight into it so how we declare a function is basically we give it a public static keyword like the main function and uh, just exactly what that means is not something I'm going to cover in this video so just accept that's that that's how it is so public static and we're going to th this is the point where we choose what type of data we're going to return uh, when we're going to print something out on the screen we're not actually returning anything so we're just going to say void. Oops. <coughs> so now we have a public static function that returns nothing and now it's time to name it and we'll call it print. Oops. And we'll call it print. And we close it with uh, the parentheses and curly brackets. So now we see the structure is fairly similar to the main function and inside here we can type whatever we want this print function to do. So what do we actually want it to do? So we want it to print out hello world. Of course we all know how we will do that uh, by now. Uh, system out print println and we're going to has in a string hello whoops hello world exclamation mark and we'll save and now we have a function that when we call this function it will print hello world but if we were to run our program we can actually do that so we'll uh, compile as usual and do we get any errors? No, we don't. Obviously, it should be fairly uh, straightforward. And we'll run our program. And nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Because we already declared system.out.println. And it doesn't do anything, so this clearly doesn't work. Uh, but as I said the main function it is what starts your program so what Java does when you say uh, Java main it looks for this function and the main function doesn't do anything it's just blank so it runs this and it's done that's not what we want we want it to actually do this and how we call a function it's just the function name and parentheses and save and now what we do is uh, Java will start your program in main go into the print and say oh this is a function I know what this is it's this so it basically substitutes this line with this line so now this is equivalent of just printing hello world instead of print here so let's see if that works
and it prints hello world. Works perfectly. That's great. Uh, functions can be way more advanced than this. Um, uh, the function can take an argument, which this is an argument. And uh, how we do that is we declare the type of argument we want. So we'll have a string and we need a name for the string and we can call it my string like this so now this is no longer valid because it expects a string variable or a string to uh, be passed into it so this will give us a compilation error we can show that right now and it says uh, error method print in class main cannot be applied to given types print required string found no arguments that's exactly what I was explaining so we need to pass in a string here and we'll just type hello but the problem now is that it still just prints hello world it doesn't print hello uh, so what we need to do is actually change hello world in the println call to the variable that we actually put into our function which is hello the way we do that is very easy it's actually just to name the variable and place it into the println call and uh, you're all set so now it should print whatever print get as its argument so let's try and run this and let's compile and run and we get hello which is uh, exactly what we expected a function can also return any data type or object uh, in java and uh, how we do that is the exact same public static and then we name the type string and we'll just make a simple function here that returns a name and we'll call it my name and we'll close it with the parentheses and the curly brackets to uh, get the uh, sort of actual code of the function and uh, now this function returns a string and to, re to actually get to return a string we need to use the return keyword and uh, now we just uh, declare whatever string we want to return and uh, we'll return a name and uh, we'll just return Mary and uh, of course we don't actually need to hard code the string in here we can actually use a string variable as well so we'll do that we'll just type string name and uh, we'll declare whatever we want the name to be and we want it to be Mary and for the return statement we'll just return name and that will be the exact same as I just had typed out so now when we call this function we'll actually compute the name Mary and uh, we'll send that as our return value so now we will concatenate the hello with the uh, string that is returned from the function my name and I'll show you uh, just a basic function call here we'll uh, just add nice little space after hello and we'll concatenate with the return value of my name and this is what a function call should look like and uh, remember the parentheses at the end and uh, my name will now compute the string Mary and uh, let's try and run it uh, Java and Java main hello Mary so it takes the return value of the function and places it uh, just like we will, would use any other variable in Java. And that's been it for this video. And uh, for the next video, I'm going to cover the main function on request from you guys. So uh, I'm really taking uh, your comments into consideration of what to do next. So for the next video, the main function will be uh, the priority. Uh, it isn't really relevant to Android programming, but it's... Uh, always nice to get a little bit more knowledge and uh, we'll do some fun stuff with the main function in the next video so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching and goodbye